I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And it's that time of the year again where I check out Ireland's biggest and best truck show. It's full of the vibe. 2019. Oh yeah. Let's go. to get this video started we've got a mountain of trucks to show you here all around Punchestown race course <laughs> uh, Moy Glare there with the T520 the tag uh, they have about six or seven trucks here a bunch of trucks from them and we've got a couple of tippers there and we have the FM Volvo the 440 and then we have James Donnelly and Sons with the R620 uh, very loud the exhaust on that and he is in for the decibel challenge later on so uh, yeah, we'll be seeing <laughs> how he does on that. Uh, he's got a loud exhaust. And then we have HC Live Trans. So they have a very nice lineup here. We've got the FH 540 in the middle and a 500 horsepower FH on either side. But uh, yeah, they've done great work on these trucks. Just another rodeo on the FH 500 and the bar on top with the six spotlights. And he's got the spotlight painted yellow there as well he does have the additional intercooler badge on the front and uh, let's just have a look at the step here guys uh, can you read that inside there uh, make of that what you will guys because I'm not saying anything okay <laughs> uh, you have beautiful wheels the Alcoa aluminium wheels and nice big fuel tank on that as well and I like the painted finish there all around the checkered plate and he has the Kelsa air bar on the back as well nice tidy finish and the Susie's you see the way they're all covered in there that's to stop them from tangling up so I need to get a set of these myself guys because my Susie's sometimes get tangled up but uh, yeah and they're celebrating 70 years in business as well 1947 to 2017 HC live trends but um, yeah you see the trailer there for carrying cattle now this is known as the professional from Houghton Park House so you can get the prestige trailer as well which would be for sheep and cattle but this is just a cattle trailer uh, by Houghton Park House but just have a look at the back of the cab there uh, we've got the LED headlights and the big bar as well look uh, look at this moo 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 mover huh? but uh, yeah that's class now let me just walk around the back because I just want to show you the back of the trailer here he's got a big painting of a bull at the back Look at this, great work by them, isn't it? And <laughs> look what it says here. Anybody can be a cowboy, few can be cattlemen. Yeah, well done to HC. I think they should definitely get something for their efforts at Full of the Pipe 2019. Anyway guys, let's keep walking. Okay, we've got the Renault T range there. Just pulling in from Keynes. And then over here, I just want to show you the Iveco Tracker, so this has 410 horsepower, Euro 6, and uh, very nice to see that it has the price up on the windscreen. So 115,000 euro. So you don't often see the price <laughs> on these new trucks, so that's great to see. Uh, so let's just have a walk around here, the concrete mixer from Immer Group. 
so yeah it's a, it's a bit different to the Lieber mixer you would have seen me video there not so long ago so th this is from Midland uh, Midland truck parts and they're based in County Offaly so yeah nice tracker there 410 horsepower and another tracker there parked beside it with a Thompson body there on the back uh, yeah quite nice to see these trucks parked outside 410 horsepower so yeah there's plenty of people walking in at the moment this is going to be a very busy show and it's only just kicking off okay we're looking inside the Volvo the FH 460 horsepower it's a very blue one this from Lady Godiva uh, let's just walk back here guys have a look at this truck it's all the way from Holland the FH from Q Flowers so yeah he's come a long distance to display his truck here today and uh, he even has the flowers out in front and all look great effort from him and uh, let's just move over here so we've got a bunch more trucks to show you we've got Renault Trucks Ireland so we've got the T High there the T480 Comfort looking quite well in white and then we have the limited edition the Renault Sport Racing so this is also a T High the T520 and this is number four of ten so you might remember over in Peterborough I saw number three of ten but this is number four so yeah it looks quite well doesn't it with the yellow touches on the wheels yeah quite nice and then we move on to another T520 uh, that is sitting a bit low at the front uh, they do have the back axle lifted on that but a nice finish on the catwalk as well all covered in nicely done on uh, the rear of it there and they have the nice trailer there as well great effort from Renault another T high beside it and then we move on to DG McCardle so these guys have a nice line up here the 143H with 450 horsepower from 1994 so quite old but uh, looking great and then we have the 144L with 530 horsepower from 2001 uh, I have to show you inside that shortly guys wait till you see inside that then we have the R500 from 2010 and then the 2018 Scania S650 with its V8 engine and then we have Mackle car so yeah 630 horsepower Mercedes Actros from 2017 and then we have the Scania 2002 164L V8 480 uh, he's also in for the decibel competition so we'll be listening to his truck later uh, I just want to walk over to this Scania the 144L 530 because I just want to show you the work um, done to this truck this truck has had massive work done to it uh, I've got permission to show you inside so let's just open it up now you see there look Royal Class uh, truck interiors okay based in Holland they do all this work so the painted kick plate there the handles are all red and then we have the nice door panel here with the badge and uh, we do have the uh, that's all lit up at the back as well the ambient lighting uh, oh yeah he's gonna turn it on is he <laughs> I think <laughs> uh, can we get the back lighting here <laughs> uh, we should have rehearsed this there you go guys uh, nicely done on the interior look so yeah at the base of the seat there uh, also the leather on the seat and you see the badge there Scania Vabis nicely embroidered in the seat and he has the sign on the back wall also the velvet finish on the back wall and they have relocated the bed it used to be above the windscreen and now it's at the back so uh, nicely done isn't it and also the headlining has all changed but uh, great work great effort done from DG McArdle on this truck and also the steering wheel changed so I uh, really like that thanks <laughs> thanks for showing me your truck but uh, yeah we're gonna hop out and just give you a look at the rear of the truck but um, yeah really like that he's got the V8 there at the side he also changed the side skirts oh we have one truck pulling away there Whoa! <laughs> uh, yeah nicely done on the catwalk uh, the checkered plate and the Susie's all tidied up nicely so yeah DG McArdle celebrating 25 years 1993 to 2018 and you see there on the rear as well he has the old style lamps but they're actually new they're LED lamps so even though they have the old design 
they're LEDs. So yeah, nice touch there from DG McArdle. So yeah, those guys seem to be driving around for the decibel competition. Uh, we need to go over and have a look at that because that's going to be very loud. bunch of Scanias here from Daytona heavy haulage based up in Donegal and look they also have the two Scania S730s now some of you may have seen my video from Scania in Sweden when I was over in Sweden I did ask somebody do they know what the next Scania flagship is going to be and they do and they have seen it so I did say to them is it going to be a 780 because that is what I predicted in my speculation video and the reply I got was I'm close. So the next flagship from Scania is going to be in or around the 800 horsepower mark. But there you have it. That is the flagship for the moment. The two S730s here. Okay, we've got the Scania 164L just waiting to go to the decibel competition. So we're still waiting for all the trucks to pull in here. But I, I, I think this motorbike might get the competition for the loudest exhaust. It's a Harley Davidson 750 Super Rod. Uh, listen to this, guys. <laughs> I think he might have it guys <laughs> and it's not even a truck oh we've got the MAN we've got the MAN the racing truck 1050 horsepower from this <laughs> this thing is an animal let's hope we can get a few burnouts from him wow it's very low to the ground something loud coming up behind him Oh, we've got the Scania 143. Oh, it's all going to kick off here now, boys. It's going to get very loud. <laughs> Look at that. I like the mock up fifth wheel there. You won't be pulling any trailer with that. Yeah, so they're all getting ready. Oh, we've got a T-Series Scania there. Ho oh, ho! Another one. <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> they're all getting warmed up, guys. Okay. Oh, we've got the Ivecos. We've got the Iveco there. 520 horsepower from uh, Long Haul Commercials. Go on boys, have a race, have a race. <laughs> yeah, you won't be beating this though. <laughs> they might be having, oh. You see the engine there? Sitting further. Oh! <laughs> another 164. Plenty of black smoke out of that one. Okay. I can get the smell from here of burning rubber, boys. Whoa. That's crazy stuff. Oh my god! 
had no idea it was going to be like that. Whoa. Mental. All the exhaust. Can he win the decimal level? We've got long haul commercials there in the Eurostar. 520 horsepower. <laughs> That's quite loud. Ah, nice. Okay, we've got BM there in the T series. Great work there on the rear of it. So let's see how he sounds. Piggott's Express there in the 164L. Come on. Nice. 580 horsepower in County Galway. Okay, we've got Paul Morgan here. 580 horsepower. The Scania. Go on. And we've got Moffat there with the quietest exhaust because there is no exhaust on that forklift because it's full electric. So you won't be hearing anything from that forklift. Yeah, so that's it guys. Uh, we need to find out now who won the decibel competition. <laughs> okay guys. This is the winning truck, okay? This truck has the loudest exhaust. At 113 decibels, just over. And you can hear the bike. That bike. <laughs> That bike is 116 decibels. So <laughs> the bike is actually louder than their truck, but uh, the bike doesn't count. This is only a truck show. So yeah, P2 are after taking the trophy. Okay, let's listen to the 164 here. <laughs> right off he goes. Okay, plenty more trucks to show you guys. Let's continue. the Irish commercial stand we've got a bunch of FH's for sale there and then I move over here we've got the uh, the skip truck there there's going to be a skip going on to the back of that that is the FH 500 and you'll notice as well it's nice and high up off the ground so you've got good ground clearance on the FH 500 there and then we have the 540 beside it but uh, yeah we move on to another 460 horsepower Volvo, the tipper truck there. And then we move on to the flagship, the FH16, 750 horsepower. We'll have a walk around this shortly. And then we have the 25 year edition FH with 500 horsepower. So uh, yeah, let's have a look around the 750 horsepower flagship. Oh, we have John O'Toole heading off on his FH. Okay, I just want to show you the camera here. Uh, just on the bottom of the step, look. Have a look at this, look. This has a cover on it to protect it. So you can swing it up like that, look. I like that. That's a nice 
attention to detail from Volvo and they have a nice color on the Volvo sign as well it has a nice you can see it there reflecting the blue nice decals on the side so let's just have a look at the chassis area it's all factory painted in black gloss black finish to it quite nice and up on the rear there as well the ladder nice handy mount for your ladder at the rear now you see there he doesn't have an adjustable fifth wheel but we do have one on the FH 500 so yeah as I keep saying I always like my adjustable fifth wheels so yeah we're just gonna walk around to the driver's side and have a hop inside see what the FH 16 with a 750 horsepower it's all about look the door opens automatically for me look <laughs> he's got the remote there so uh yeah let's open it up and have a look i like the fh16 badge there nicely done and the three steps up into the cab we've got nice leather finish there on the seats with the yellow inserts but uh yeah quite nice isn't it the 750 horses a lot of power from this guys 3550 newton meters oh he's got the yellow touch on the gear selector as well and you see the remote as well um, you can take that out of the truck and you can even turn on your pto switch you can rise and lower the back axle and you can check all the lights from that remote so very handy to have it mounted up there okay we're just on the delaney commercial stand here they've got the scania the g450 xt so it's a 192 registration with the tag axle at the back so yeah frank pratt who will be taking delivery of this very shortly once it gets pdi'd and then we move on to mcguire now they have an r580 xt here but uh one thing that i haven't seen is an s series xt i've not spotted one of them yet but uh let me just walk around the back here of the r580 and just give you a look at the work that mcguire has done look at the checkered plate here look very nice isn't it and the v8 there <laughs> mcguire celebrating 20 years in business 1999 to 2019 but uh yeah that's quite nice and over here we have the r520 and then we have the p450 xt uh the three axle tipper there from mitchell and then we have lucy transport with a brand new r450 and then an s650 and over here we have mitchell with another new r series as well but uh yeah quite a nice lineup now let me just quickly run over here uh <laughs> they're just hopping into the new scania there as well how are you doing guys <laughs> okay let's walk over here the p440 yeah so we've got a big lineup here from bm transport so they have a uh, around 15 trucks at this year's full of the pipe and this is frank pratt so frank this is your new xt that's right and frank you brought what 15 trucks here today that's right that's right 15 trucks so great yeah. support from frank yeah for full of the pipe only happy to do it yeah and we might see you at uh the truck run for Katie. You surely will. <laughs> we'll see what Frank can do for us. In big volume. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> it's getting very wet here now. Everyone is running for cover. Yeah, so they're all just making their way out. Uh, we've got Mulligan Recovery there in a 1987 Volvo F12. Uh, that is the same year that the F16 came out as well. So if any of you know anyone who's driving an F16 from 87 or 88, I'd really like to drive one, guys. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so oh yeah we have another mulligan mulligan dismantlers there we've got Aoife driving that that is your CF 530 horsepower quite nice so guys I'm just going to walk down this line here because I want to tell you about Truckfest UK now they have kindly given me a discount code for all my viewers so if you go onto their website and book any tickets for any Truckfest event throughout the rest of 2019 and go into the discount code box and put in Stavros 15 you'll get 15% off your tickets for any other truck fest throughout 2019 so that's very nice of them for all my viewers and we're just walking past a bunch of trucks here from MST quite nice the Actros and the CF DAF so yeah 
There's still hundreds of trucks, guys, here. Now, we need to find out who won Truck Fest 2019. So let's go inside now and find out. <laughs> bunch of trucks. Now remember we have the truck run for Katie happening in September this year, okay? Truck run for Katie. It's going to be the biggest truck run in Ireland. And yeah, all these bad trucks are going to be there. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the truck run for Katie. Uh, Ireland's biggest truck run. And I just want to walk down here, guys, because I want to show you the winning truck, okay? Um, we'll have a look at these guys all pulling out here later on. There's a mountain of trucks! <laughs> There's a mountain of trucks in here, guys. So they had 1,300 trucks taking part this year for Full of the Pipe. And this... This Volvo FH16 with 750 horsepower is the winner from James Richardson. Have a look at this! Okay, we can have a proper look around this winning truck of Full of the Pipe for 2019. This is it, your Volvo FH16 with 750 horsepower. So this is from 2016 and it has, guys, just a mountain of work done to it. But uh, hopefully we can get a look inside, but just look at all the paintwork on this. And uh, he also has the tank on the inside painted as well. Look at the catwalk, look. And all along the back. Yeah, he has a tiger theme going on throughout the cab. And let's just have a look at the rear here. The lamps. Unbelievable paint job on this. So he was telling me it took nearly a year to paint all this truck. <laughs> just look at it, look. Oh, we're not finished yet, guys. Just wait until you see inside. But, uh, yeah, so he goes away with the winning trophy for 2019. Unbelievable work. Just look, it continues on to the door, look. <laughs> All along the step area, look. And into the cab, he has the blue finish in the cab. He's got a tiger there, look. And blue all around the ceiling. Even, even all the lockers and all, look. All painted, look. That is just unreal, guys. Look, the steering column all around by the steps. <laughs> and look, he has this all chrome as well. Man, it's just, wow. Well deserved, guys, well deserved. Yeah, so James Richardson doing a fantastic job there on the FH16, 750 horsepower. Yeah, we've got a bunch of more trucks here from Jay Davidson, the FH. Look at the work on that. The Terminator, look. And then he has a James Bond theme going on on the R-Series over there. And we have Smokey and the Bandit there. We'll have a look at them shortly. But, uh, yeah, great work on those trucks also. <laughs> then we move on to this one, look. Only Fools and Horses going on in this S-series Scania but uh, <laughs> look what he has up on top look lovely jubbly <laughs> only fools and horses yeah pretty cool line up there um, I'm just gonna walk down to the Smokey and the Bandit truck let's just have a look at this the old Kenworth so this truck is in from the UK and then we have the Pontiac Trans Am there uh, pretty cool to see that as well. So they're getting ready to head away as well. Uh, <laughs> we have Burt Reynolds here, guys. Uh, where's Sally Field? I'm looking for her. But, um, yeah, pretty nice to see that. Nice detail on the truck. The Kenworth. Okay, let's just have a look around the Iveco stand here before they head off. So we've got the NP with 460 horsepower. So this is gas powered. You see the gas tanks there? So th this has a range of 500 kilometers from the NP 460 Stralis. 
So yeah, I'll show you an even better gas truck shortly, but I just want to move on to John McGarry's truck, the XP with 510 horsepower. So he doesn't have this truck long on the road, only a few months old. And uh, yeah, he's two fuel tanks there. He can carry around 1300 liters in his two diesel tanks. So quite nicely done. And uh, that's not an AMG badge, guys. That is JMG <laughs> for John McCarry. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's John there. You'll remember Good evening, <laughs> from everybody. the Stralis video I done. Years ago. Yeah, up near French Park. But uh, yeah, in County Ross Common. And he's got the lights there up on top and also on the front grill. Yeah, so quite nicely done there from John on the XP with 510 horsepower. Yeah, nice. And then we move on to the second gas truck. So let me just walk you through this before I get knocked down by a Kia. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so he has two tanks on this. Now, this truck has a range of 800 kilometers on your gas tanks. So John McGarry won't be filling up as often as this truck because John would be expecting to get nearly around 5,000 kilometers per fill of his truck. So 5,000 kilometers or 800 kilometers on your gas truck. But I suppose it all depends on your carbon footprint. But they are reinforced carbon fiber tanks and they have an aluminium sock on the inside that expands when you fill it up with gas. But uh, let's just have a look at the other side there, the exhaust. It's a lot of white smoke. Uh, let me just walk in, is there a smell off that smoke? I'm not getting, no, there's literally nothing off that uh, as regards the smell of it. Yeah, the natural gas. Uh, run by Virginia. Bye. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> that smoke only happens when it's cold. Oh, when it's cold. Yeah, the smoke. But yeah, Virginia are going to be running a, a number of these trucks. Uh, they have a lot of them on order. The gas powered truck. Yeah, and then we move on to this. Now we've got an old classic here the Iveco Turbo Star. Now this is from 1990, uh, belonged to long haul commercials. So yeah, I remember getting a spin on one of these in the late 80s. Uh, we were driving very, very fast, guys. <laughs> Let's just say the truck had no speed limiter on it, okay? And uh, yeah, some of you older drivers will remember that these came with wipers on the mirrors. But this one doesn't have them. Yeah, I remember the one that I was in, it had wipers on the mirrors. And it had that grey finish, the launch livery. And then we move on to this. Iveco Stralis. This has 480 horsepower and this is the Abarth edition. So let me just move in there and give you a quick look. See the Abarth 480 Stralis. So yeah that's just a quick walk around of what they have on the Iveco stand. So they're all just getting ready to head off and uh, yeah the gas truck there is just heading off there. Yeah, so fair play to Virginia. They have a lot of them on order. Oh yeah, John has the Thailand job there at the side. So we're just gonna hop inside the Stralis because this is no ordinary Stralis. <laughs> Let's just hop inside here, guys, because remember the Scanny I showed you earlier? Look, Royal Class Truck Interior. So let's have a look at the work on this. So they, they have this nice soft panel here on the side and so everything was stripped out here and retrimmed. The seats, the Iveco logo on the seats. And look at the lockers up at the back and the blue lighting and the red all around the sunroof and also on the lockers there. Even on the speakers, look. And uh, on the door cards and on the dashboard, even on the steering wheel, look. So yeah, quite nicely finished off here from Royal Class Interiors on your XP Iveco. Okay guys, the 124L. Now I've got the Scania T-Cab there. The 164L, 580 horsepower from Hutchinson Feeds. Oh, and the R560. It's getting busy now. Oh, he's after winning something there. <laughs> okay, well done to him on that. Whoa! 
And we have the R580. Yeah, nice line up there from Hutchinson's. And we have Ferguson International with the R580. <laughs> They're all rolling out now, guys. Uh, still, the rain is coming down slightly. So let's keep walking down. Now yeah, we have Fagan Transport there. Down from the north of Ireland. <laughs> with these XF. Uh, the 105. Nice. Okay, we've got A. Russell and Sons. Nice. Yeah, big line up here from Hutchinson's. The R580. And we have another one from Russell there. The 144L, 480. Left hand drive. And Hutchinson. <laughs> He's got a lot of trucks here this year. Yeah, we have Grassmen there. With their 164. And the R440. Keep it rolling, guys. Keep it rolling. <laughs> I'm getting away here. <laughs> hey, and the FH. Yeah, they're still coming out. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back inside and uh, we'll get a good look around. And we have Spa Transport there. And the R560. 2,700 newton meters of torque from them. And as I, as I said to you guys, the truck run for Katie is happening in September. Uh, please do support that run. We want it to be the biggest one ever. And the 143H from Frank Pratt. Hey! From 1995. Heavy haulage there. Whoa! That's a load one. <laughs> and then we have the another R560 there from the Grassmen. Then we have Riverside. Hey! With the S730. Yeah, very nice paint job on this, guys. Uh, let's just see there when he rolls out. <laughs> He's got Miss Piggy on the side there. Uh, let me just give you a quick look at the back of this because... Hey! <laughs> How are y'all doing? <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> there you go, they're all having fun there in the cab. And look, Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy at the back. Very nice work here on the catwalk too. On the S730. Uh, are, you all, are you all waiting for the flagship Scania coming out? <laughs> yeah, they might be waiting for that. But yeah, quite nice to see them all rolling out here. So all, all these guys were very dry today <laughs> inside in the shed. Okay, we've got a very nice lineup here from HE Payne. So these guys have come all the way from Bedfordshire to display their trucks. So we've got the 500 horsepower and the 460 horsepower FH. And he's just pulling out there in the 164L with 580 horsepower. So yeah, he might have to wait for this guy to move back and give him a bit of room, so I'll get out of the way. But uh, yeah, some great work on this truck. Very nicely done, 2003. And you'll see there on the back of the cab, he has the polar bear, look. <laughs> Very nice work from H.E. Payne. Okay, let me just move on to this. I want to show you this 1991 Scania 143M with 470 horsepower, and this is the Centurion. So yeah, from Scania UK, they only built 100 of these. And let me just move into the badge here. Uh, this truck is number 69. Yeah. So yeah, this would have been the top line cab in its day, from 1991, before the four series came out. But yeah, I kind of like that. And the, uh, the trailer in the back has a kitchen in it, and a bedroom as well, so. <laughs> Your 1991 Scania Centurion. Okay, that's how it looks here. Oh yeah, and we do have the old Volvo F12. That is from 1993. So that is one of the last batch of F12s before the FH came out in 1993. And another FH Volvo there beside it. And we've seen Parker's rigid there already. Very nice horse truck there. But uh, yeah, quite nice line up there from H.E. Payne. Okay, we've got long haul commercials. Heading up. 
with all the Ibecos. And another one there behind. Yay. Very nice. Okay, that's where I'm going to leave you all today from Punchestown here in Ireland for Full of the Pipe 2019. What a fantastic show, guys. 1,300 trucks took part today. Great support for this show. It's just, I loved it. <laughs> and I'll end with this, the snowman's truck from Smokey and the Bandit, the Kenworth. But uh, yeah, guys, I had a great time. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you can, and I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, Take care guys, and thanks for watching. Cheers!